Today you're getting the vlog you have wanted for ages. You're gonna meet Stan. You're gonna find the in and outs. You're gonna find out everything about Stan. If you don't know who Stan is, come and say hello. Right world, meet Stan. This is the driver's side. We've obviously had a window put in there. And then this little post box one there. And then if we flip around the other side. Just got the one on the slide door. The wife's even put out the map for you. Look at that, welcome you in. And on the back, we went for two big, barn door windows. I was a little bit apprehensive about these, I must admit, when I first saw them. But on the inside, it makes perfect sense. So, let's go in and say hello. Someone in my van. Hi. Oh, hello, you look like, you look like a little van model. <laughs> right, everybody, meet Stan. I'm gonna show you a lot more over the next couple of minutes, but this is from the side. We obviously always take the mat everywhere we go. And then, kitchen table, mm -hmm. solid oak. Protein bar, mm -hmm. solid goods. And then these will come out underneath. I'm gonna show you what's in there. This is our little sofa, I must admit. Wonderful sage green. We made a fail. <laughs> We've got a daughter <laughs> who has got very grubby hands. We need to recover it. Yeah, maybe this will change, but we'll let you know. And then if we just look down there at the galley, we have opted for the open galley, not having a fixed bed at the back. We, will, we will go into the reasons as to why, but I'm gonna come in through the back and I'm gonna show you around. And from the back, this is probably the part you've seen in a few Instagram pictures and stuff like that. So on this side, we've got this wonderful little, add a pop up, just goes up and pops down with these two bad boys. And then on the other side, it's a, it's a hat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a thin hanger that it's, we haven't gone anywhere, it's so it's a gonna, hat hanger. At the moment it's a hat hanger, and then we pop the Yui Boom. And, stuff. and then we have got a little shelf with 100% fake plant. The main thing that I wanted to... Top of my head. Sorry, it's wonderful head. <laughs> uh, the main thing that we wanted to say, obviously, with the van, there's a lot of people who live in them full time, yeah. so you will notice the absence of certain amenities like showers and toilets. So before the question comes... But then we have a potty. We do have a potty that has been used. Mm -hmm. By me. <laughs> By Kelly. Um, we're going to be using this as our family little tour van. So we're very fortunate that we're not going to be having to live in it. Uh, hence why we went for the medium wheelbase opposed to the long wheelbase. Hence why there's no shower. But you could happily live in it. You could you happily, have yeah. Child. If you didn't have a t child. Right, so let's have a look around. <laughs> From the back, going forward at the bottom, we have got obviously our, what's this called? Uh, a Bel Bellevue? Belfast, Belfast sink. sink. Sunken in. Wonderful little bad boy. A nice little cover on top. And then we've got our water supply, this is a 20 litre, and then we've also got a, a, a symmetrical 20 litre in there as well for waste. And then at the back, just all the water pump connections and everything like that. We are about to get a heater fitted, which has a little gas valve there for obvious reasons. It's bloody freezing in the UK. And then on the other side, a massive fridge that has still only got ketchup and a water bottle in, but it's still wonderful. And then obviously I'm not gonna go through all of the cupboards, but just to show you, we've got these little fast clips, which are just like, wait for the satisfying sound. Did you show this? Wonderful. Babe? Yeah. This is really epic. I have it. I'm, that's up. Oh, I'm down. Sorry. I'm down. This is epic. And all of the, all of the cupboards have got they, those little snapshot cupboards. Holders. Which we have learned if you accidentally don't do it, then when you drive, they will open, really explode, yeah. and they will leave yeah, marks on the van. So we've got those both sides, obviously usual kitchen bits and pieces, and then a few little, well, the, the golden things, these, which go absolutely everywhere. The double-sided <laughs> Velcro stickies. And the stick, no, those ones. These are epic. These, these little stickers. These absolutely are what brilliant. All the pots and stuff so, are done with. when you look at it, and everyone's like, and "How do they so... drive around? Everything's literally glued to the side." Yeah. And then we've got um, mains gas. We went for a gas hob. I'm a bit of a fan of cooking, and I must admit, in the ones that we've used before, that didn't have gas. They had the electric ones. They just take so long to cook anything. So this is a twin hob, Fetford. And then we've got the oak top, which is a little bit luxury, but it is wonderful. And then we have this, which was a last minute thing, wasn't it? It actually? was, pop it up. I was suddenly like, we want more space to be able to cook and stuff. So we added in a chopping board that would also yep. cover. So we've got the, the sink stuff. and a few bits and pieces in there. And then this has just got, flip it over. These that uh, Jamie from Trek Vans, who actually made our van, plugged it in. So it just and then adds it can... additional like kitchen space when you need it. Yeah, so that's the kitchen space for when we're preparing anything. Then up top, storage, obviously Opus Coffee. All the way along, we've got actually five of these. The third one 
is the mothership. So this is where the water pump goes on, the main cabin lights, and then also I wanna show you, this looks a little bit fancy, but if you have a daughter or a son, these are essentially little dimmer lights, right? Where you can just change how much light there is. So at the bottom, we've got one at the bottom and the light will change as you go down and up because this is Jax's bed. She does have a duvet and stuff, but not right now because she kept putting chocolate over it, so. Yeah, so this is her bed above the sink and everything. It's the same length as a normal single bed. So it protrudes out a little bit here, but in terms of width, I think it's yeah. about 85 to 90 centimeters wide. So it's gonna be plenty enough for until she's about seven or eight years old. And then little cover. So if me and Carly are watching TV, <laughs> <laughs> stop being disgusting, uh, watching TV or something, it just covers her up so she can actually get to sleep without us well, so leaving really the lights on and stuff like that. If in a foreign country and it's really hot and she wants to have a daytime nap, we don't have to put all the curtains in. Exactly that. So this is literally, we just bought this cloth from John Lewis, we same sort of color, same sort of color as this. And we've got some Velcro holders mm -hmm. at the top. We just rubbed it on with Velcro and then we just drape that down when she wants to sleep. And then at the top, we've got these. We bought all these nets from Amazon, didn't we? We did, and they just to make extra space, really. They're just little buttons, and they have sticky bits underneath, and then a screw that goes through the middle of them, and then you just pull them across, little bungee cords. They're super we've... handy for, like, this one's got bedding stuff, like pillows and cushions and duvets, and, you, you know, stuff you don't really want to have to put in a drawer. 100%. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's that. Then moving forward, this is where it gets a little bit more exciting, isn't it? Yeah, bed, bed stuff. Bed stuff. Bed. <laughs> so we've got the vanity mirror. This is obviously full length for me, which is about a foot and a half long. Again, glued on. Never underestimate how important hooks are Honestly, in the van. Hooks absolutely everywhere. It's raining, wet stuff. Yeah, a couple of photos. And then if you've got a dog, Stephen's area. we've got three of these situated in different parts of the van where we can have Stephen outside or inside and he can still have his lead on if we're going to be running around and he just gets clipped to that. We can have him on the outside of the van when the door's open. This is where his little bed goes because he sleeps around this area or when we're driving around he'll be clipped at the back and he sits at the back area. Okay, we have switched roles. Leon's taking down the table which I think is one thing we have already made a change to. We did already cut it shorter. We it was did. a lot it bigger. Was, it was to about here but we don't need it, do we? No, so... we don't use it very often. And in fact, it might... Sorry, pop that It then. might be something we end up not actually having. It might be something we think about for future vans because hopefully we'll be outside more. But for eating and having dinners together, it's really important. So yeah, when we take it down, it's, it's simply, as you just saw, it's popped on two of these silver holders. So it's not like a, a big ordeal to take it down. And then... Slides there. All three parts. This just pops out again, goes down the side. And in that little corner, there is also USB, a little bed light, and we've also got some more switches for other things down yes, there. Yes, we've got main switches down there. So, next part, before I bring the bed out, I'm first of all gonna show you, these oh, are is, massive. Yeah, this is gonna have so much massive. stuff in when we travel, but right now it's Jax's play area. But and Jax's play area, and our original heater, which is pointless. pointless. <laughs> if anyone wants that, let us know. <laughs> we will get to that. Into the next one, we're actually, this is where all the mothership pieces are. So we've got two large um, leisure batteries in there and all of our mains for everything on there. And also we've got a huge solar panel on the roof because we've decided to make the van totally off -grid. off grid. So basically when this is sat, the batteries will trickle charge and keep everything in check and everything like that. But it means that when we do travel around, we don't have to physically be on an electric based site for us to be able to use all of the amenities that we've got. So we went for that. It's a little bit more expensive, but it can save you a lot of money in terms of campsites and having to pay for those dens or pitches. And in here, Saying that heater is a little pointless. We're gonna be putting, I think it's called a HS2000 complex gas heater. And then there'll be a little hole drilled in here and the heat will start pumping out nicely. And I cannot wait. And Carly cannot wait. Oh, That's gonna be It's the, very cold. The Don't underestimate how cold it gets if you're just thinking of a summer van. Uh, uh, uh. Right, so let's get freaky. The bed. Let's talk about Marnie Carly's bed. This is very satisfying to watch. Yeah, so Jamie sure. did an incredible job with this. He did. So you've got these two little red pins, which are just little quick release pins on there. You have one each side. Mm -hmm. And then after you pull them out, this is our floaty bed. Yes. Comes all the way out. And all you and have then... to do is put those in place to make your mattress and boom. And the big question I know people are going to ask is, is it sturdy? Yes. So I'm sitting on 
they're just hinges. If you go all the way down, you can see that it's just floating. <laughs> there's, there's no legs on these whatsoever. And I think Jamie's told me each one of the, the, the holders, each end holds up to like 250 kilos. So we've had me and Carly laying on here, me, Carly, Jax. Jax jumping on here. Yeah, and, and Steve. It's absolutely perfect. So this is a good double size length and a little bit, again, just slightly narrower than double size. Super width. comfy. And, and also, it's... as you can see, Jax then can get in her bed. She can go from this and get in here and get down safely. And Stephen can sleep happily under here. Yeah, so I'm going to take my shoes off. You better. Because I will get divorced if not. Should we show them, Carly? Show them. Okay, so got the bed. Picture the scenario. Everything's nice and relaxed. Oh yeah, we're out in the wilderness. What should we watch? Yeah, we went a bit plush with it and put in a cinema screen. It was, or it's already been justified. It was an incredible thing to put in because we're not going to be watching TV or anything like that all the time, but you just watch as a family a movie. So you've got that up there. And what we bought was, this is called a Yfe, Y-A-U-F-E-W cinema screen. It's got incredible reviews, so check it out if you want it. You can have it at home as well. It doesn't have to just be for a van. Also, I've been, seen people angle them to the ceiling in houses, which That's is a great idea because you can watch a movie from your bed. So this is it. The whole thing is, what, six inches by three, and it's that flat. And what you do, we literally just pop it on here. Let's run it the wrong way. It's a screen, obviously, Basic, is it physics? I don't know. Tells you that the further away the screen is from here, the, the actual picture will be bigger. But from this is about a meter and a half for us and we get about a 30 inch screen. And then we can watch movies, we can connect our laptops to it, or it's also got a USB port that goes in the back. Don't tell me off Carly, because I haven't unplugged it yet. There's a USB that you can put in the back, which we preload our movies on and you can just watch it in there. Amazing. Buzz it. You guys might notice we don't have any curtains because we have these. We have these. Super simple. You can actually make these really easily online. This one is actually for the back windows. So the material actually keeps the sun out so it keeps it warm and then also keeps it cool. And these ones just slot behind in here. And we actually keep them in most of the time now. And then we have other ones that just fix on. So they just have... Little suckers. Oh, they? these ones don't have the suckers because they slot, but there's like a little sucker and a sucker. You just go against the window and you don't have to worry about curtains. So that's mainly the guts of um, Stan. He's just to re just to remind everybody again. He's a medium wheelbase sprinter van. He's got plenty. Like for us as a family, he has got so much room. And one thing I haven't shown you, and the reason I haven't shown you is probably because we haven't been away to really use it yet. I guess. But one thing I forgot to say is there is actually two other seats in this van, which stay where they are. This our passenger side. I don't know if I can show you, but I'll have a look underneath just in case the light's good enough. You might be able to see this little twisty here. So there's four of them, one in each corner at the moment. It's basically just black, but there's four of these. And if we undo, unscrew all of them, these two seats will flip 180 and become back seats as well. So then we essentially have L seat based sitting if we don't have the bed out. I'm not going to go into all the utensils and bits and pieces like that because Carly actually, if you, is it on your channel? Yeah, it's full van hall. If you go over to Carly Rowena and, and type in van hall, you'll see all the utensils and the clever bits and pieces that we felt that we really needed. But the main thing that I would say, plenty of stickies, plenty of hooks, and then it's just a case of getting in it and using it as much as you poss possibly can because we're, we've not even gone over to Europe, obviously the COVID situation, we've not gone anywhere really far in ours at the moment and we've already hacked over a foot off one of us, off the table which we never thought we'd touch. We're already deciding whether we're gonna have certain curtains put in different places and stuff and I think that's just the fun of it, isn't it? Yeah. It's just living in it, living learning about it and this all started from being away in New Zealand for a whole month in a camper van, seeing what it was like, having a little one, traveling around, was she gonna be okay with it? Were we gonna be okay with it? And it was just one of those lifelong dreams that we were like, we want to make this happen. We want to see more of Europe. We want to see more of the UK and Scandinavia and not always jumping on planes all the time. And a lot of your memories as a little one, Carly, were actually spent in <laughs> camper vans, right? My memory is being in an auto sleeper, which my parents had, and it was always raining in my memories, but we just played cards and sat in the camper van. I had the best. Yeah, the, it was just amazing and I would like that with Jax. You just, you become very close and it's lovely and you realise the things that matter and I think that's what's so great about van life. 100%. And then the only thing I didn't show you is the, is the ceiling. We've got four strip lights all the way down 
And then I'm not going to talk about the window, the pop windows. These are so standard that are in all of them. And we just went for a light pine wood finish on the roof just because it offers more light. And then you've got the fake tile effect at the back and that's it. We're going to be adding some, um, forgotten what they're called. Scuffs, shelves. marks, oh, kid yeah. marks. Get <laughs> stuff. Don't get precious with it at all. We're going to add some shelves for some books and stuff, a little one. Yeah. Um, and I think that's probably one thing I'd say if you're thinking about your van, we did kind of think we wanted it to look beautiful and as bright as possible. But obviously we have a child and we've already realized that this lovely color is not going to last very long because it's going to get so messy. White is going to show mud and in the winter if you have a van, it gets really freaking muddy. Yeah. So don't get too precious about your van and probably go for colors that aren't going to show dirt scuffs mud too much if you're going to have a family van so final thing i'm going to say is thank you so much for having a look around stan with us we will be going on many a trip with him and i will be vlogging all the way that kind of stuff and how we get on and how we navigate different countries and all that kind of stuff if you want to and you have been looking at doing something like this yourself i know there is a ton of people who are building them that themselves at the time we decided we wanted to do this obviously the world wasn't in total lockdown and also as well for safety reasons we didn't feel comfortable doing it ourselves because there's gas and that kind of stuff involved so i will put jamie's details below his his actual company's name's trek vans you can check him out all we basically did was bought the van shell that we wanted picked a slot with him and then he built the whole thing in eight weeks for us and then we just got to go and pick him up um but yeah that's just the way that we decided to do it just because realistically we're trying to run both of our companies separately having a little one at home all the time we just knew we weren't going to get it done for years so thank you very much to jamie you did a cracking job i will see you in the next vlog and if you've got any questions or anything whatsoever you want to know about the van drop them below and i'll come back to you see you in the next one